It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Redwoods and the Blues, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League finds us down under in the beachside city of Melbourne, Australia. Tonight we move on to week two of the preseason and we've got a compelling matchup here between the Sacramento Redwoods taking on the Blues of Melbourne. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win. And I used to think it really didn't matter who won. And we are underway here down under. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by someone who needs less introduction than any player in the league. A Super Bowl champion, the league's most valuable player for a second time, Patrick Mahomes. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Well, hang on now, we're gonna pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him and we'll step aside for a moment. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to bring up second down. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Big article in the paper this morning talking about how they wanted to get chunk plays in the run game. Well, early on, there's a good one. There is, and for guys on defense, they've got to remember the old adage. You've got to meet force with force, and if you don't, you get run over, as they did on that last play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Mahomes now to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And down inside the 15 he goes. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And it's caught, touchdown. Justin Ross from 13 yards out. And the Redwoods put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. On paper coming in, you'd say that these guys are the better team by far, and they sort of showed their superiority there on the opening drive. Yeah, they came in the heavy favorite in this game, and even though they're on the road, they just still got just wiped it away, didn't they? They just said to everyone, we're the better team. We just showed it to you on this opening drive, and we expect to do it all game long. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by the fifth-year dual threat and former number one pick in 2019, Kyler Murray. 
drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. Connor going to get it again on second down. Stiff armed him. And they'll bring him down at the 27 yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. You know what really fires up the offensive lineman? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. On first and ten, here's Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. From the 43, here's a second and five. Murray a give. This is Connor. Shoves him away. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Murray getting this complete to counter, and he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? They were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing now is Murray. He's got his target. That's complete. And he doesn't quite make it. Taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Here's Murray. And it's caught. Touchdown. Zach Pascal. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Blues respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. An out route there for the score. A quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really serving the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands. Knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. Prater for the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So that one a long 11-play drive. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. 
Now Mahomes. Got a man open. It's Ross. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Here now, second and four. Mahomes going to throw. Open man is Ross complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A gain there of 21 yards. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it, we can always lock in on the skill position, guys. For those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. This will be caught just inside the 10. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. Here's Pacheco headed right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, an eight-yard touchdown run. And his guys have taken the lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Greg Dorch returning. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. <laughs> and that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Murray. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Shoves him aside, and they're able to get this one across the 35. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Second quarter now, and it's our home team with possession. As they've got it with a first and 10. To throw is Murray. And his throw is incomplete. That's just flat out a terrific play because it's rare that you see a hitch route batted down. That means someone read that one really well and was right on the spot when the ball got to the receiver. Murray again, second and ten. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Like a freight train there, Derek Nottie with a sack. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, 
Nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Screen pass to Connor. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Isaiah Pacheco and the offense back out. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. And yeah, that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. To throw, it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now Mahomes. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. No, oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. On first down, Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A good pick up there, 26 yards. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. The credit Chris Barnes rushing in there and hitting him for a loss. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Here's Pacheco once again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Now here's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And this is caught. He hits more. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Headed straight. It's Pacheco. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. A gain of three, second down. A handoff now for Pacheco. They'll get this halfway home from the 8 to the 4 on a gain of 4. Third and 3. Here's Mahomes to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Travis Kelsey from four yards out. And the Redwoods go up by two touchdowns.
So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 21-7. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Melbourne's offense back out on the field now. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. A short one here, caught by McBride. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help him as they head towards the half. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Second and 11 now. Connor up the middle. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Murray now. He'll get that one complete to Connor. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Ah, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. On first and 10 is counter. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 48 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Here's Murray. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. This is caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the two now, second and goal. Connor. He's in for a touchdown. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time, he had the speed to win that race. Now 
Prater to add the PAT. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. Hardman will elect not to bring this out. And the football will be on the 25-yard line. Isaiah Pacheco and the offense back out. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Mahomes to throw on second down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mahomes now to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. Play fake, Mahomes. Buying time to his left. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's third and six. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Mahomes now on first down. Throw out wide is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? On third down, it's Pacheco. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in just a minute. Week two of the preseason is upon us. Each team now with just one more game after this one. And then we will get it all started as we normally do on the first Thursday after Labor Day. In our game, still a lot to keep an eye on. Guys battling, trying to make a ball club. We'll send it back to two guys Let's already take it on in right our team. The goal line. That's Brandon Godden and Charles and Davis. Able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. But this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. 
And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. On second down, a run with Carter. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. And it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. Under pressure and down he goes. It's a loss of 10 on the sack and it leads to fourth. This rookie was already being tested as he tries to lead a comeback here in the second half. Now he's got to get some momentum back after that sack and a big loss. They bring their punter out there now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. From the 41, here's a second and eight. Brings up second and eight. Now it's the backup Gabbard. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll make it third down. Out of the gun, Gabbard. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And they'll send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. They'll start on the ground, Carter. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. The big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. He's got Higgins over the middle. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So the call there, roughing the passer. Well, the preseason's time for working out the kinks, but sometimes... You've got some defenders who are too eager to impress trying to make this team. And that time we saw one take a shot at the quarterback way too late. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Mike Edwards picks it off, and his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. I'm sure as a rookie, even though this is preseason, Charles, interceptions, you got to eat at you quite a bit. They certainly do, but here's the problem that he's confronted with. He's not the high draft pick. He's not seen as the next guy. He's got to prove himself to everyone and get noticed. So maybe instead of taking the safer throw, you press it a little bit, try and push it downfield, try and fit into a tight window, and sometimes interceptions result. A quick throw out to Hardman on the perimeter. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Gabbard to throw it. Now throw right side, taken in by the tight end, Gray. 
I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. They'll throw again. Gabbard. He'll find Clyde Edwards aware. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. And once again, that middle going to be clogged up as he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and 15 coming up after that loss of two. Overall, I'd have to say that's just really good team defense because to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Got a man. That's Richie James. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. If you think about it, that's a pretty important second-half field goal, Charles. That now stretches this to two possessions and really kind of ratchets up the pressure on that opposing sideline. It certainly does because that interception and adding a field goal to it, that puts them in firm control of this game right now. They're about one more big stop from putting this thing absolutely out of reach. Now Carter to start the drive. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Higgins out of the right side. No gain on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And they will take over first and 10. That'll be caught by James. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 46, here's second and two. Off the play fake, Gabbard. His throw incomplete. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it, an in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. Gabbard on third and two. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Uh, 
Now they'll bring Tony in motion left. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Gabbert now from the 50. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports as we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. 33 yards that time. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Now Gabbert. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It'll go as a loss of eight and a tough result there on first and goal. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now with that interception, you feel like we got a ball game again. Remember, two-score contest and still time left here in the fourth. And in the old days, not too long gone either. Throwing the ball here would have been an absolute no-no. But the way the game's played now, throwing it makes sense. You just have to be careful when you put it in the air. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. Now Toon got his man, it's George. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down, but a nice little game. This second and four. Brings up second and four at the 19-yard line. And Toon to throw it now. Open man is Higgins. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. A give up the middle to Carter. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Second and 10. No gain on the play. Second and 10. Here's Toon. Throw right side complete to Carter. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And third and eight now. Toon. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Call that a gain of 11. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. Looking to throw. Two. Over the middle complete. It's Higgins. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Here's Toon to throw it. 
Now throw out wide, gonna be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. What will look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Oh, Pascal able to haul that one in. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Throwing tune. He's got his man on the crossing route. This is Higgins. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Toon going to throw it. And oh, it'll be intercepted. It's Joshua Williams with a pick. Those INTs all sting, but you throw one in the red zone, I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. So following the interception, here's Gabbard. A solid stiff arm. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Gabbard now. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. Short completion, just four yards. And it'll be second down. Four yards. To throw, Gabbard completes it to Hardman. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. The offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at 60%, six out of ten thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. They'll throw again. Gabbard. Catch is made by Hardman. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. On first and 10, Gabbard. And that'll be caught by Tony. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. From the red zone now, Gabbard. And his throw here is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. To the air again, Gabbard. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. So here's a third and 14. 
two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they got the turnover and were able to drive it down, Charles, but ultimately in the end, the defense holds up, and they only come away with the three points. Yeah, they gave up a lot of ground, but when they had to, they settled in and prevented the interception from leading to six points because you never want to see turnovers turn into any type of points against you, but better to give up three than six. Here's first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters, so I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. On second down, here's a run with Matt. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and 10. Able to find Mack. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. A lot on the line here, even for just a preseason game. Jobs to be won and lost. It's third down. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Now Toon. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. This offense has had its troubles moving the ball all night. So now you get in this situation, hard to imagine that suddenly they're going to start clicking and moving the ball downfield. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Well, partner, it's just preseason, but it always feels good to be in victory formation taking the knee for the W. Yeah, I've often thought to myself when I watch these preseason games, some teams need the wins more than others. You know, if you're established and you're used to winning, not quite the same, but if you're trying to learn how to win, it's important to get it done and to be able to kneel down at the end even better. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.